you welcome back to Yang Sweet Ladies Place once again. My name is Yinka. In today's class, we're going to be making this pinafore dress, and here are the measurements we are going to be using for this tutorial. So let's get started. So the first thing I did is to remove the three yards from the bundle of the six yards that I've got. Then after that, the next thing I'm going to do is to cut the lower part of the pinafore dress. So I just folded my fabric in no specific direction because I just want to remove one long strip that measure three yards. Then the length is going to be the remaining length of the pinafore dress. The total length of the pinafore is 42 inches. So after removing my half length, that is from my shoulder to waist, after removing it from there, the remaining is 25. Then I added two inches for allowance. So I just cut out 27 inches by three yards. So that's going to be the part that I'm going to gather under the pinafore dress. So I just really then have cut that out. So this thing I'm cutting here now is just three yards by 27 inches. And that 27 inches is the lower part of the pinafore dress after removing my shoulder to waist length. All right. So I'll keep that aside. The next thing now is to cut the waistband. For your waistband, first you fold your fabric into two. You can see the fabric is already folded into two. After that, I'll fold it again into four. So the next thing you can see this fabric here now is folded into four. It's folded into four. So after that, I'll just fold it over just the way I've done here now into eight folds and here is completely unfold so the next thing i'll just rule a guideline just rule a guideline like that so starting from this folded part i'm going to measure quarter of my waist measurement my waist is 32 divided by 4 is 8 so i'll measure 8 inches then with 1 inch seam allowance Then I'll measure the same thing at the lower part as well. 8 plus 1 inch same allowance. Please use your own measurements. Then after that, I'll just rule it to form a rectangle. So the width of the band is going to be 3 inches. Actually, after sewing, I want it to be 2 inches, but I needed half to join the, the band to the upper part and also half to join it to the lower part then after that i'll just roll this point then at the upper part i'm just going to remove half inch just like i've shown you here just to give it a little curve so that the band can relax very well on my natural waist so i can relax very well on my waistline then after that i'm going to cut it out Then after that, I'll match the midpoint on the upper part and also on the lower part. This is very important. So if you open the waistband at this point now, this is how it looks. You can see the side is a little curved. That's going to be the upper part of the band. All right, so. By the time you open it up, you have four pieces four pieces two for the front and also two for the back as you can see all right so the next thing we're going to be doing now is to cut the upper part of the pinafore dress so first i'll place my fabric into two folds you can see the fabric is folded into two Then after that, I'll fold it over again into four. Then the next thing I'm going to do is just to roll my guideline. 
So the next thing is to input my shoulder measurement. My shoulder is 16 divided by 2, give me 8. But I'm not going to be measuring it because the, the, the pinafore is not going to stop at the tip of the shoulder. Rather, I'll remove half from there, then I'll measure 7 and a half inches. Then the next thing I'll measure the remaining length of the waist length. The waist length is 70. We already used 2 for the waistband. So I'm going to measure 15 inches for the waist length here with half inch seam allowance half inch seam allowance all right so the next is just to cut this piece out so that we can concentrate on the shocking properly so this is what i have now at the upper part at the upper part i have 7.5 then i'm going to remove half inch from this and put it at the lower part so 7.5 minus half give me seven so i'll measure seven at the lower part of the length then I'm going to connect it to the shoulder. So after that, I'm going to measure 3 inches neck width so that I can get my shoulder slope. First measure 3 inches starting from the folded edge. Then I'll go down by half inch on the shoulder tip. Then I'm going to connect this point together. The reason for half inch shoulder slope here is because I don't want it to slope too much. All right, then after that, I'll add half for the shoulder seam allowance. So the next thing is to shape the neck. For the neck depth, I use four inches. Then for the neck width, I also use four inches. So I use four by four for the neck measurement. Then I'm going to connect this together with a curve. then after that i'll cut it out so i'm done cutting the next thing is to remove the inner layer just remove the one inside And this one inside, we're going to be considering it as the one for the back. So we're going to be doing a little shaping at uh, the lower part of the back. All right, so just measure half inch upward. Like that. Then use your ruler and connect it to the other side. Like so. Just connect it like that. Just to give it a little slant. So that the back can relax properly then you trim it off so at this point you need to label it so that you don't miss it together so just write b on this piece so that you know it's the back and also you can write f on the other one so that you can know it's the front so the next thing is just for you to cut out the lining just exactly the way it is now, just use it to trace it out on your lining piece. But I'm, I'm not going to be using lining for my own because I want to pattern my Ankara piece. So this one that I just cut out, I'll consider it as my lining piece. So I'm going to now position it on top of my remaining fabric so that I can get uh, a nice pattern for the upper part because I want to position this umbrella nicely on the body. All right, so I'll just use this one that I've cut out to trim to cut out my main body so that's what i'm doing here just to cut it out so at this junction you can just use your lining for this and if you want to use your same fabric you can go ahead and do that as well so the next thing now is to cut out my pocket pocket is optional for this type but if you want you can go ahead and do that so i folded my fabric into four so I can call the uh, the pocket and then I'll just place my hand on top of it and trace out the shape making sure I have at least seven inches at the mouth like that then I'm going to cut it out I've done pockets in so many of my former video you may want to go and watch it so that you learn more on how to do pockets
all right so that's it we are done cutting you can see this is the body we have two for the front and then two for the back so if you're using lining you have one for the front and one for the back and then you have one one of the lining pieces as well this is the waistband we have four two for the front and two for the back as well then this is the gathered part the lower part of the pinafore dress is it measures three yards by 27 inches so the next thing i'm going to do now is just to divide this three yards into two so that i can have one for the front and one for the back and this is just going to be gathered inside this band then this is the pocket So this is it all together. We have four pieces for the pocket, two for each side. So we'll be sewing our pinafore dress now. The first thing I'll do is to take one front and also one back. one front and one back with the right side facing each other I'm going to join the shoulder so when that is done the next thing to do is to join the lining together so take one front and one back and then you join the shoulders together with the right side facing each other so I'm using the same Ankara as my lining here, but if you're using lining at this point, this is what you'll be joining together. Alright, so we're done joining the shoulders together. The next thing you want to do is to put the lining piece down with the right side facing up. You place the main fabric on top of it. with the line with the right side facing down so basically the right side of the lining is facing the right side of the main fabric so after that align their shoulders together properly that shoulder joining align it together let them be on the same line and then you pin in place this is very very important for that shoulder joining to align together so make sure they stay on the same line then you do the same thing to the other side match their shoulder joining together and pin So after that, you are going to sew the neckline together. You just sew it all around. Sew the neckline all around. So when that is done, the next thing is to notch the neckline all around. You just cut the neckline small small like that make sure you don't cut your seam you cut it very close to the seam but you will not cut the seam the reason for doing this process is for the neckline to relax by the time you turn it to the right side so after that you open it up and then you push it the way I'm showing you here so that you can bring the sewing to the right side. All right, so it's on the right side now. You can see even without ironing, the neckline is already relaxed. That's because we notched it. 
so this is the way it's looking so the next thing you want to do now is to sew the sides together just look at the way i'm doing it open it up on one side with your hand and then you use this side that you open up to cover the other side just like i'm showing you here so you just just sandwich the other side inside the other part that you open then after that you just run your stitch just so it's close from beginning to the end let me take this again so that you can understand it very well all right so first roll one side like i'm showing you here then you take the other side and you open it up and you use it to wrap it all around it you can see the way i've done it you wrap it all around it like so So this is how it is then you sew it starting from the lower part you sew it across to the shoulder then all the way back to the other side of the lower part so when you're done sewing the next thing you'll do is just to reduce your seam allowance you know i sew with half inch then i'm going to reduce it to about quarter inch so that we can reduce the bulk of the same allowance at this side because we want it to lift very flat on our shoulder all right so then after that you just bring it to the right side you bring it to the right side So we have we have done one side, so you repeat the same thing to the other side. So you can see this part is still open. So this this side that you already sew, you just roll it again, then use this side that is still open to wrap it round and then you sew it again. Making sure their shoulder joining is on the same line at every given point in time. You can pin it so that it will remain in the same place while you are sewing. So after sewing, you trim off the seam allowance as well to cut a range. Then after that, you bring it to the right side. All right, so we're done joining the sides of our pinafore together. So the next thing you want to do now is to iron it flat. You can see I've ironed mine here. You can see how it's looking. So the next thing you do is just to sew close to the lower part. Just top stitch the lower part. Just sew it close so that you can keep it in place. All right, so after that, you're going to fold it like I'm showing you here now. Then you notch the center. Notch the center. Then at the other side, you also notch the center. so we are done with the upper part of the pinafore dress you keep it aside then you move to the gathered part if you remember this style is divided into three parts we have the upper part the waistband and then the gathered part all right so for the down part you are going to be hemming it first you fold once then you fold again and then you run your stitch note we skip the waistband first to move to the gathered part all right So the next thing you want to do now is to make a gather stitch at the other side. 
So first change your machine settings to the longest stitch. Mine is five. So I've changed it to five. Then after that, I'm going to just run my stitch. It's going to be a loose stitch where I'll be able to pull it to form a gather. And it is advisable for you to make this stitch twice so that it's be strong enough for you to pull. All right, so you're going to do the same thing to the other side of the gathered part. You know, I've divided this three yards that I cut out for the gather into two. One for the front and one for the back. So you're going to do the same thing. Just run your gather stitch again for the one you're going to put at the back. Initially, it was three yards that I cut for this gathered part, but then I later divided it into one and a half each one for the front and the other for the back all right so the next thing now is to start pulling your gather first open the same like i'm showing you here then after that you start pulling to form your gather So when you're done pulling your gather, you take your waistband. You can see the waistband I already feels my interfacing on it. I've put stay inside my waistband. So the next thing now is to use your gathered parts to measure the waistband, making sure they are equal. So if it's not, you adjust your gather to fit into the waistband. All right, so when you're okay with it, you're going to tie the stitch, that long rope that you use to pull your gather, you're going to knot it so that your gather remain in place. You also do the same thing to the other side. Just knot it and then you cut off the excess rope. Alright, so the next thing you'll do is to move the gathered away from the edge, like about one inch. That's going to be for your same allowance. Just move it away from the edge, like about one inch. And then you just distribute the gathered evenly. Then at the other side, move the old gathered away. Like you did to the other side just just for one inch that's going to be your same allowance then you just arrange your gather let it be equal so this is how it looks now So the next thing you want to do is to take one of the waistband
replace it on your gathered parts with the right side facing each other right side facing each other then you are going to make your stitch So after making your stitch, this is how it looks. You can see. So the next thing is to take the upper part of the pinafore dress. You open it up. You can see the way it's looking now. The right side is facing up and also the right side of the down part is also facing up. Then the next thing is to mash your notch. You can see the notch on the waistline. Mash it together and place them on top of each other. Then you pin it. Mash the notch together and pin. Then you stitch them together. So after stitching the uh, upper part to the lower part, this is how it looks. You can see it. So the next thing is to take the other waistband. Then you flip the upper part downward and then you place the other waistband on top of it you know we cut two waistband for the back and two for the front so with the right side facing each other now you now stitch it you can see the way i've done it i'm trying to show you very well so that you can see it so that we don't miss this step all right right side facing then you stitch so now the upper part of the pinafore dress is in between the two waistband. Then again, you're not going to start your stitch exactly at the edge. You're going to leave the one inch in the same allowance before you start making your stitch. So just backstitch and then you continue sewing. So before you get to the other side as well, you are going to stop one inch before you get to the end. That's your same allowance. Alright, so this is how it's looking at this stage. So later on, we are going to be top stitching this part on top, like so. You can see that's the other ones there. All right, so we we'll keep that aside. Then you take the other waistband and the remaining gathered parts with right side facing each other again. You are going to stitch them together. Alright, so when that is done, you take the upper part of the pinafore dress again with right side facing each other. You are going to match the notch together and then you stitch.
then after that you flip it down like you did the other time then you place the remaining waistband you try surfacing then you are going to stitch them together leaving your one inch seam allowance at the edge before you start and then at the other side before you end all right so this is our progress so far this is how everything is looking so the next thing you want to do now is to notch the position of your pocket if you are putting pocket your pocket starts one inch below the waistband so just align your waistband and then you measure one inch downward and then you notch it that's where your pocket is going to sit After that, you take your pockets back. Right side of the pocket bag is going to face the right side of the dress and then you are going to stitch them together with half inch seam allowance. Alright, so this is it. This is how it's looking. So you are going to repeat the same thing to this other side. Face your pocket back on this other side. Match the right sides together and then you sew it. So when you're done joining the pockets to the bodies, the next thing you want to do now is to close the side. So just place the dress together like I'm showing you match their waistband together then you run your stitch at the sides like so when you get to the pocket side you make it turn and then you sew all around the pocket till you get back to the body of the pen up for dress then you continue stitching all the way down so we are going to be working on the other side now this other side is going to have a zipper and also you're going to be putting pocket there as well if you know you cannot undo the pocket and the zip together i would suggest you skip the uh you skip the pocket for this side because it's a little bit tricky but i'm going to show you how i used to do it just pay close attention first i'm going to measure down nine inches then from that nine inches point I'm going to sew all the way down or you can just use your zipper to measure the length that you want so just place your zipper starting from the band and then you measure to the length you desire but most time for me is nine inches so from that point i'm going to sew it close all the way down to the end first that's the very first step you sew it close all the way down so working from the front side of the pinafore dress and the right side is facing up you're going to first notch the position of your pocket
I'm going to measure one inch below the waistline. That's going to be the position of my pocket and I'm going to notch it. Then after that, I'm going to take one pocket bag. Right side of the dress is going to face the right side of the pocket. Then I'm going to stitch the pocket to the dress. After that, I'll open it like I'm showing you here. Then I'm going to place the other side of the pocket on top of it. So you align them properly together on top of each other like that. Then you're going to make your stitch. All around the pocket bag but then you're going to leave your seam allowance at the edge of the pocket bag before you start sewing so just leave that your seam allowance then you sew it all around stopping before you get to the seam allowance of the pocket again this step is tricky but it's easy So after closing the pocket bag like this, the next thing now is to attach your zipper. You match the right side of the zipper to the right side of the dress, starting from the waistband seam allowance, just like I'm showing you here now. Then you fix your zipper. Then when you get to the point where you have your pocket, you sew this. A zipper on the seam allowance of the pocket bag that you left like this let me show you just like this can you see then after that you zip the zipper up you can see your pocket is right behind the zip then the next thing you do is to fix the zipper to the back part of the other side so you just turn the fabric inside out turn it to the wrong side so that you'll be able to see the other side and then just like I'm showing you you sew everything together All right, so the next thing now is to close the waistband. First, flip the other side of the waistband on top of the zipper. Then you sew it close. Just like I'm showing you here now. You sew it close first. Then you sew it downward. 
on top of the zipper flipping your same allowance of half inch upward just like i'm showing you here if you have not watched the video of how to make eye loose circle skirt please go and do that because i was so thorough with waistband in that video all right so after doing it this way can you see this is how it looks it concealed the edge of the zipper for you nicely then you do the same thing to the other side can you see the way i'm doing it here then you sew it close Then I trim off some of the allowance on the upper part like so. Then after that you push your band inward. Just like I'm showing you here. It's a simple step. So just take your time and wash it. So at this point, if you don't want any seam line to show your waistband, you can use aiming gum to close it. But I just like sewing it. Because sometimes after a lot of washing the hemming gum used to wear out so I prefer sewing it anytime any day so the next thing now is just to sew the waistband all around just to stitch the waistband on top of the waist like I'm showing you now And that's that the pinafore dress is ready thanks for watching if you have not subscribed to the channel yet please kindly do that and kindly give this video a thumbs up i'll see you in my next tutorial bye, bye.